Hello, Tashi Dele. Good morning to everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day. This is Chemya and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here in Lhasa with my friend Mr. Dawala. And with this awesome chance I will show you a unique diet, custom and culture in Tibet. And you may not know that we Tibetans are actually very obsessed with eating dried meat and every family has dried meat especially they like to dry the yak meats and every winter when the Tibetan New Year is approaching we Tibetans begins to prepare dried meat for the New Year and today with this awesome chance my friend Mr. Dawala will take us to experience how to prepare the dried meat in Tibet and I hope that you will like my video and before we go to the markets to buy the yak meat first I would like to show you the living standard of normal people in Lhasa. And first, I'm gonna show you this beautiful living room of Mr. Dawala. And look at his beautiful painting. See, all this are silk. And that was absolutely a high quality portala painting. And now I'm gonna show you the praying chapel of Mr. Dawala. And here, I'm going to show you the kitchen. The Krasa Jo Dawla, um, can we the Pingba to do it? Pingba, that is you say you see. Pingba, eh? Um, um. Ah, the can we see you? Ah, can do that? She, not too much in it. Right, so that's all about Mr. Dawala's home. And I hope that you also like Mr. Dawala's home because you see the decorations of Mr. Dawala's home is perfect. And now we are going to the local markets in Lhasa and gonna show you how we are buying the yak meat from the nomad people. And now I'm going to show you the winter city of Lhasa. Right now, I arrive here at the meat markets in Lhasa. This road is called Sesungdang Road. Lots and lots of yak meat. Right now, I'm here at the meat markets and you can see lots and lots of people here buying yak meat. Alright, so people in the rural or in the nomad areas raise their own yaks or sheep and they can prepare dried meat at their home but for people in cities, 
They can only go to the local markets to buy meat slaughtered by herders. And there's a street in Hasa that every winter before Tibetan New Year comes, the herdsmen slaughtered their yaks and shipped them to Lhasa and sell it to the people in the cities. And now my friend Dawa will go there to buy the yak meat. <laughs> Sumjut Alright, now we got one leg and we found some special people here that only do the cutting. They are really professionals after cutting the yak meat, you know. They are really fast. Yeah, 
Alright, the shopping is finished and we got a really good yak meat today and now we are heading back to Dawala's home. And now we are going to dry all the yak meat for Tibetan New Year. I just got the piece of yak meat here. Mm -hmm. And in Tibet, it's okay to eat a raw meat straightly. You know, some family, when we dry the yak meat, some family will add some seasonings and some will be dried in the original flavor. And it takes about 30 days to dry all the yak meat. And in ancient times, you know, Tibet's natural conditions were very harsh. There was no refrigerator and one yak meat could not be eaten for one time. So that's why the wise Tibetan people in ancient time thought of drying the meat in the winter so that it can be stored for a long time, like for one year and can be eaten all year around, you know. So this diet culture has been passed down to today. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the dry meat from last year. See? And now I'm gonna try it. And I really like spice, so first I'm gonna try this yak meat from last year. It's really hot. It's really, really tasteful. I mean, it has been really well preserved for a year because I can still taste the meat. Yeah, Papa Ji said, and the Shagambo Ji said, being on the Shagam do prevail looks really ya. I see me man do Shah Shemine, she was sure a primacy.
Mr. Dawala is preparing Zampa, which is barley actually. And dry meat with Zampa is the best match. So this kind of food is a really traditional food in Tibet. So you say, this is barley. That was a wonderful day and thank you so much for his hospitality and I really enjoyed so much and have learned so many things about our Tibetan culture and that was a really delicious and a traditional Tibetan lunch and tastes awesome and I really like it. Thank you so much Mr. Dawala. And by the way the Tibetan New Year is coming soon and welcome every one of you to Tibet. Come to taste the delicious dried meat and spend the Tibetan New Year with us. This is Jim Young. Welcome to Tibet. We are the one that can show you original Tibet. Just delay. Just delay.